All right, well, it's done. Here it is. Well, the Gradical, the first of its kind. HD and LT. For people who don't know, we had at NAB, we had this EVF challenge, I guess you can call it, on one rig, the source coming from one camera. We compared it with the Alexa, with the Epic, with the Bomb. That's what surprised me is when we actually compared it to what I thought were going to be superior, I was blown away. I was like, whoa, those don't really even look so good. You know these signs that everybody has above their booth? I zoomed in on one that was just a million miles away. It had the real fine font, right? Yeah. yeah. I had some people in from other booths, you know. They were looking through there and they were like, wow, I could actually read the text on ours, but none of the other ones. It was kind of a nice surprise when I was out at Abel's booth and when I came back, you had yeah. shown me that we won best yeah, of show. They came for, by and said you won. So that, that was that, cool. That that is kind of cool. Now Chase is going to give us some specs on the Gradical LT and the Gradical HD. The Zacuto Gradical comes in two different models. The Gradical HD's micro OLED display has a resolution of 1280 by 1024, and the Gradical LT's micro OLED display has a resolution of 1024 by 768. Zacuto designed these displays to have this 4:3 aspect ratio so that you can show and move your video image up and down while simultaneously having the Gradical's histogram, waveform, vector scope, battery indicator, and more in the open area of the display without overlaying on the video image. Other than the resolution size, both Gradicals share the exact same features. The lens features a negative one, the plus four diopter for fine tuning eye focus and comes with Zacuto's patented anti-fog coating. The Gradical features both HDMI and SDI in and out and the capability to cross convert allows you to run your Gradical and HDMI signal and come out SDI or HDMI and SDI simultaneously. Each unit is USB firmware updatable so your Gradical can change and adapt with the new camera models. Each unit has two mounting options, a quarter 20 on the bottom and an airy rosette on the side. And both are powered by one LPE6 or standard Canon battery which is included along with the charger. Inside the Gradical is a powerful FPGA dual-core processor that can effortlessly run the host of great software features with almost no lag in the image. Features like advanced peaking with adjustable highlight color and pixel-to-pixel -pixel zoom for focus assistance, a zebra feature and false color for exposure assistance, waveform, histogram, and vector scopes are not only available, but movable, sizable, and have opacity options to best suit your preference. There are numerous frame line options including 4.3, 15.9, 16.9 and more. The video image itself can be custom scaled or can utilize one of the many camera presets available. And the Gradical has color bars, Macbeth charts, audio meters and much much more. These features are accessed with a joystick menu button on the side and any of the features can be programmed to one of the four speed buttons for instant activation and deactivation. And lastly, the Gradical supports the importing, exporting, creation, and saving of LUTs. LUTs, as well as the Gradical's other features, can be turned on or off independently between the EVF itself and whatever display you may be looping out to. This means that you could have a LUT that's closer to the raw image, scopes, and a record light on in the EVF, and an image with no scopes, and a LUT that's closer to the look of your final image in your client monitor. Again, for people who don't know, this is a micro OLED. So each pixel is lit individually, like separate light bulbs, if you want to call it that. So that when one is off, it's true black, as black as you can get. So your contrast range is going to be much greater and the colors are going to be more vibrant. Overall, it's going to be a much more vivid, enhanced picture. Well, that's what I think people noticed at, at NAB. When you looked at it, it was like so crystal clear. That's where contrast is going to be important, too. I mean, yeah. it is first and foremost a focusing tool. Another thing I really liked was the optics. They're incredibly sharp because we've custom made the optics from scratch, you mm -hmm. know, and they're made for that particular screen. In the HD model, there is an enormous wide angle view and a large eye box because of the size lens we have. All right, but not too large. I mean, we were starting to hate how big some of these viewfinders were to where you had to really look around and fatigue your eye and not maybe catch everything that was happening in the frame. We had literally thousands of people that looked in this thing and I asked everybody how's the field of view and they're like yeah it's perfect mm -hmm. you know. About the diopting which is so nice I mean <laughs> you grab that diopter and it has a very short range that you turn it and the reason that it's different than a Z Finder or any of these other systems is because it's a multi-lens optic system. Right. And then go from minus one to plus four. So let's talk about the materials that you want to build this out of. I mean, this really is supposed to be a production grade tool here. So magnesium is the best way to go. It's going to be lighter, stronger, 
Now here we're going to talk about it on the rig. We've changed the profile now. We've gone from what a lot of people have done, which is a wider profile, because you had an actual screen in there. The narrowness of this really makes it nice because now you have the ability to slide it forward and back and it's not intruding on any of the lens field of view. Right. Here you can see how it has this sort of nice pivoting ability with the rosette on the side. He can easily tip it and get it right in his eye wherever he wants it. And the battery most likely will power it all day depending on how long you're using it. And what's great about that is you only have one cable now that's going all the way back to your camera. So here it is, the Gradical. HD and LT. The first of its kind.